around, so that may be part of it. But anyway, it's nice to see so many uh, old faces here again that I haven't seen for a long period of time. And uh, originally, uh, in the early 90s, artists were pretty much excluded from the community and not given any attention whatsoever. And at that time, I had just uh, celebrated the 10th anniversary of Art Life, so things were going pretty well. And I spent, oh, a very long weekend writing a complete proposal to the city to uh, put a contemporary art museum on the second floor of the parking garage over Aloha Steakhouse. So I went to all the trouble, I jumped through the hoops, I did the proposal, I dotted the I's, I crossed the T's and everything, I gave it to them, and uh, what they came back with was uh, that we couldn't do it because the parking structure would not hold the weight of people. <laughs> so. That was scary. So when I heard that, <laughs> I realized that I was speaking to aliens from another planet, you know, and I, I just didn't want to have anything else to do with them anymore. And uh, so an individual artist had absolutely no hope of ever accomplishing anything around here. And uh, I've been a union guy ever since I stood in the picket line with my dad in the 50s. And uh, so that's been part of my upbringing, and it always made sense to me. So what it came down to is just a matter of having collective bargaining power with the city. Because as an individual, we can all go up there and knock on doors and you know say, I'm so-and-so, I'm so-and-so, I'm so-and-so. And they'd say, yeah, 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 okay, goodbye. But whatever you give them goes in the trash can and you never hear about it again. But when you go up and you knock on the door and you say, I represent 200 people in a town this size, that's votes for the city council. So even with that few number of people, that small number of members, we carried enough weight so that at least when we went and proposed something, they wouldn't just blow us off and say, get lost, you know, forget it. They'd have to listen, and that's how we ended up with the best gallery in town at the uh, at the beachfront behind the Loha. For how many years did we have that, Paul? Decade. Ten years. And it was the best gallery in town for ten years. Woo! And uh, in many towns. <laughs> well, true, right? There were people coming in from out of town. We had members joining from out of town. People coming up from LA. And we did the best shows that Ventura has ever seen. Unfortunately, the city is very fickle. So the main thing that they were interested in once the art walks hit, I don't know if you're familiar with this or not, but the first five years of the art walk, for every art walk night they had on Main Street, there'd be 10,000 people on Main Street. And the city was getting $14 back for every dollar they put into the art walk. So they were making over 1,000% on every dollar they put into the art walk. So naturally, they fell in love with the arts. <laughs> it was a, a very hot romance for a while, and they backed it for about five years. And it was really a very happening thing. But then the economy changed, and they dropped the arts like a hot potato, just like that, because they're only interested in the money. They really don't care what brings in the money. And at that time, on every phone book in Ventura, on every city letterhead, it said, Ventura, California, California's new art city. So, when the economy crashed and they lost their thousand percent on every dollar, they dropped it like a hot potato. And now, in their usual wisdom, Ventura is becoming the new bar city. And this, to me, is tantamount to refusing to have a university here. It's like shooting your foot off and they're still waiting for it to grow back. It'll never grow back. So, that 
that's the kind of mentality we have to deal with here. So consequently, I think we need that bargaining power back again so that we can start making our own decisions, creating our own policies, and essentially we have to show them how it should be done. Because I can, I can, I bet my life there's more talent in this one room right now than there is in all of City Hall, ever. No or ever has been, or ever will be. So we have the aesthetic, and we have the knowledge to be able to show people here how to do it. And if you want an example of how it shouldn't be done, just take a look at what's been happening with the museum for the last six months. They're bankrupt, they're going out of business, they're struggling. They only know how to do things in the most expensive way. Which to me is like walking backwards into a fire. I mean, you're just asking for trouble. And uh, 